Hello world, welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the general skills challenge, Sans Alpha. Let's get into it. The multiverse is within your grasp. Unfortunately, the server that contains the secrets of the multiverse is in a universe where keyboards only have numbers and most symbols. They give us an SSH server to connect to, so let's go ahead and log into that. Now that we're in, let's test some commands out. And it appears that we're not able to use any kind of alphabetic characters in our commands. So the only way we're going to be able to navigate the system is by using wildcards and numbers. And I have a help guide for wildcards in Linux and what each character represents as far as what you can use for wildcards right here at tldp.org. I'm going to keep this up for the duration of this challenge, but some of these characters are what we're going to be using to navigate the system. We need to figure out what directory we're currently in, so we'll do an asterisk to start off with. And it appears that we're in some kind of blarg directory, or that's potentially a file that's within whatever directory we're currently in. So let's do star slash star to check to see if it's a directory. And we can see that our flag.txt is located within inside that blarg file. Now we need to pull a command that we can actually use to print out that flag.txt. So the first thing we're going to do is look to see what directories we have available inside of root. There's a bin directory available. So we're going to need an application that can print out the contents of the flag.txt file while also being able to specify enough wildcards to directly reference the executable we want. We can't use cat because if you try to represent cat with wildcards like so, and the three question marks just mean any single character three times. Notice that it's going to pull awk. Now, when you reference any kind of wild card, it actually will return a kind of list or array of different files and directories that match the wild card syntax. But it's only going to try to execute the first one. And if that executable or program that it's referencing has any arguments, it's going to try to pass in whatever the next executable or file is in the returned list from the wildcards into the first reference executable or file from the wildcards. And I can show you that now. I'll just go ahead and tell you the program that we're going to want to use to try to print out flag.txt is the base64 application. It comes pretty bog standard built into most Linux distributions. And its absolute path is slash bin slash base64. So we're going to do slash star slash B-A-S-E 64. And we could use the numbers, but we don't want to do that quite yet because I want to show you how it tries to pass in other files and executables depending on what the wildcards return. So we'll try that. And as you can see, it references base 32 with an extra operand of base 64 because base 64 is the next wildcard match after base 32. That being said, we can at least try to run this base64 on our file. And we can do that by doing slash star slash one, two, three, four, 64 on star slash star like so. And now it's telling us we have an extra operand of x86.64. So our wildcard match isn't specific enough. Well, if you notice, x86.64 is the same length as base64, and what we can do is we can do an inverted match on the underscore. So we can replace this question mark with an inverted match wildcard, and I'll show you how to do that now. So you'll do slash star slash one, two, three, and then the fourth character is the one we want to invert match, and we're going to do not underscore, like so, and then 64, and then star asterisk star, and press enter. Now we have an extra operand as blarg flag.txt. This is basically saying our second match here is not specific enough to represent the flag.txt as there may be more files located within that blarg directory that are getting matched. We need to make sure we're matching one file only. We can do that very easily by copying and pasting what we already have. And then we're going to remove this asterisk, and we're going to match four characters, then a dot, and then an asterisk. And what this is returning is essentially any four character named files that have a dot extension added to them. Because a lot of files in Linux don't have an extension on them. And this should work because there is only one file in that directory that matches this wildcard expression. So let's run that. And we get a base64 string of whatever the contents of flag.txt are. 
So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna exit out of the server and we're gonna echo that base64 string into base64 tag D and we get our flag. This multiverse is madness. So we'll copy that. Paste it in and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Alma Milt. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.